Hi, I'm Hazel, and today I'm sharing 7 tips for faster rep with you Pradmore Admiralty or Zandalari Empire. These are the reps that you'll need to unlock playable Coltaran humans or Zandalari trolls respectively. On top of the rep, you will need some questing achievements done. I'm not covering those in this video, but you can look up your character at wowhead.com slash attunement to find out what you still need. Tip number one, grab a contract. Available on the auction house, these are a consumable item crafted by scribes. If you find a price that you like, I'd say grab a few of them while you're there. They last for a week and grant 10 extra rep with the chosen faction per BFA world quest, regardless of zone. You're after contract, Pridemore Admiralty for Alliance, and contract, Zandalari Empire for Horde. That extra rep kicks in for normal world quests in Cult and Zandalar, but also Warfront world quests out in Arathi Highlands and Darkshore, and Invasion world quests too. Tip 2, make sure that you do all of the one-time quests in Tear Guard Sound for Alliance and Zoldazar for Horde. If you skipped the wanted quests while you were leveling, now's a good time to loop back and do them. You'll be running all over the zone doing world quests anyway, so if you see any yellow quest marker, do it. Tip 3, speaking of world quests, do world quests. All of them. Or at least as many as you can tolerate before you want to toss your keyboard into the ocean. They are your primary and best source of rep. Make sure that you have two professions trained so that you can get in on Profession World Quest 2, and even pet battle quests will scale down to your pet's level, so a brand new pet battler can do those too. No excuses. While we're talking World Quests, obviously, if there's an emissary up, get that done. Tip number four, keep an eye on faction assaults. If there's one up in Zoldazar for Horde or a Tear Guard for Alliance, do it. You'll get normal rep for each of the world quests, and then an extra 500 when you finish the assault and turn it in. These are easy ones to catch while they're active, because the prompt should pop up when you log into the main city. Tip 5, maximize your rep buffs. If the Dark Moon Fair is up, get your Dark Moon Fair buff. If you're a human, good for you. If the World Quest event is up, make sure that you're clearing the whole zone every day. Percentage modifiers to rep gain will affect the contract rep too, so it all starts to add up pretty quick. Tip 6, keep an eye on your mission table. Now and then, there will be missions for rep tokens, and if you're lucky, they'll be for the rep that you want. When those pop up, do your best to 200% them for a bonus chunk of rep. And finally, do your island expeditions. There is a chance at the end to get items that will turn in for rep. Those same items can also be bought with doubloons on the doubloon vendor. If you're not saving up for anything else, 100 doubloons each will get you more of those rep items. They turn in for 250 flat rep, and that's repeatable. That does sound like an awful ratio, but doubloon farming is massively faster now. Big satchels of doubloons are now a guaranteed drop from every island you do. I wouldn't grind the whole rep this way, but if you're just a little off and don't want to wait for more world quests, or if you just like islands and you're hoping for island mounts anyways, this is your grind. Alliance want the dented coin for Pradmore rep, while Horde want island flotsam for the Zandalari. And that's it. It's not nearly as bad as the Legion reps were back in the day, and chances are by the time you have the questing achievements, you'll have a good chunk of it done already. Thanks for watching, good luck with your rep grind, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!